What's up YouTube? It's AJ with AJ Travels 365. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please feel free to subscribe down below and click the bell for notifications so that you are made aware of every time I post a new video. And for those of you that are returning, thank you so much for coming back. So I've been gone for a while. Obviously COVID-19 has uh, taken a lot out of me work-wise and then obviously i've been doing some revamping new banner for the channel working on some other things so bear with me um but hopefully these will be coming weekly like they should be today's video is all about how to travel with your ipad in 2020 um so if this is something that interests you please keep watching all right, so on my podcast, I did a, a episode on how I travel with my iPad. And so uh, several of you asked if I would do a video. And so, hey, why not? I'm all about giving the people what they want, right? All right, so I actually use a case by TomTalk. Love this. As you can hear, it's very sturdy. Um, and so let's just get into the content, shall we? So as I unzip this, um, you'll see that it kind of has like a open style. You have a pocket right here. You have a pocket back here. Uh, you have a grid system. And then in the back, in the back is the actual iPad itself, all right? So <clears throat> for this front pocket, it's usually where I keep all the extra cords. So, I have a USB to, and then there's like two USB-Cs and then um, two Lightnings. Because most of my devices, it's my iPhone, it's my iPad, and my iPad takes USB-C and my iPhone takes the Lightning. So, that's that, um, as well as my um, AirPods. So, yeah. And then I have another... USB to USB-C, and then same thing, USB to USB-C. This one though is specifically for my um, power bank, which let me go ahead and show you that. So uh, on my podcast, I actually talked about the Samsung T7 Touch, which requires your thumbprint. Um, and since I've done that podcast, I've actually switched over to the RAF Power. Love this. Um, it's so lightweight, it's so compact, and the Samsung T7 is compact too. It's probably about, mm, let's say, cut it off about right here, and then obviously expand a little bit more, so it's more square shape, and I'll insert a picture right here so that you can see it. Um, but this one is just, man, when I tell you, as soon as you plug it in, it powers up, and it still requires a password, so there's still some security there, um, but, I had heard a lot of things about the thumbprint and I thought, eh, I would hate to be somewhere and at the wrong time need access to my files and can't get in. Even though they say you can bypass it with a password, um, I just didn't trust it. So what I've decided to use that for is um, documents and things that we keep in our safe. Um, and so account numbers, all that good jazz. So if anything ever happens, we have the ability to get a hold of things, pictures for insurance purposes, everything is going on that flash drive or SSD. Um, and then everything for AJ Travels 365 and or my business is on this, all right? Um, so the next thing I have in here is my hyperdrive. Um, it's kind of like my USB-C extra piece, if you will. Um, this can be used with a MacBook as well. Um, so the MacBooks that take the USB-C, this is compatible with it, um, but it has the HDMI port. And then it also has a, a USB-C, a USB-A, and then you have your um, memory card pieces um, for it as well, and then headphone jack. Um, the next thing I carry with me is by Anchor, and it is just um, the wall port. So instead of using the thick white ones that come with all of the Apple devices, I like this one because it's got the IQ technology. Um, so you can see that there. Uh, and it powers your devices really fast. Like I'm talking crazy fast. So yeah, totally, totally love that. 
All right, next thing that I have um, in this grid pocket um, is my Airfly. And this one is for USB-C, obviously, because this is for my iPad. But I love this one because it allows me and one other person to connect with our Bluetooth headphones. So my husband and I typically travel with our Beats, um, as well as me and my sister when we've traveled. And so it just, all you gotta do is pair it, boom. We can all watch the same thing, listen to the same thing. The next thing I have in here is my pencil. And I kind of covered it with this uh, silicone piece because I just wanted to protect the pencil itself. But as you can see, and I'll just take this piece off, it is the Apple Pencil. So you can kind of see that uh, if I can get it to focus. Okay, it's just not going to focus for me, but um, it is the Apple Pencil. Um, and I just felt like this looked like a pencil from like back in the day when you were, were a kid. Um, I don't use the Apple Pencil much. I've had a lot of people ask me, um, hey, AJ, do you really use your pencil? I do for certain things. So like applications like GoodNotes, you have to have the pencil. Well, you don't have to, you could actually use the keyboard, but I prefer the pencil in those moments because I wanna feel like I'm writing um, and taking notes. So it really, really works great for me. Um, and then I have this like coloring app and I use it for that too, cause hey, why not? So the other things that I also keep in here um, are by, uh, I'm gonna say this wrong, Sateki, Sataki, Satek. Um, but it is the uh, Apple Watch charger. As you can see, I have the Apple Watch. And then this one is for the AirPod Pros. Um, and I just kept that there to protect the inside, but um, love these because they can just plug in. Again, these are also for your MacBook if you have one. Um, but I love it because on the go, I'm always on conference calls and stuff, and it's easy for me to just plug my AirPods when I've like drained them down. Um, and then if my watch needs a little bit of juice because I'm running things in the background, then I have that too. All right, so then in this, uh, in the very back, um, it's got this like, I don't know if you can see that velvet like uh, material going on right here. And then I actually have the keyboard case um, on my iPad and it fits in here just fine. So you don't have to worry about, do I have to take the keyboard cover off for it to fit perfectly? No, it actually, I mean, this keyboard cover is super thin anyway. Now, I do not know if that holds true to be the case with the new keyboards that have come out with the trackpad. Um, so once I get my hands on one, I will absolutely put it on and see if it fits in there with no problems. Um, but definitely, um, yeah, definitely keep your case if you, if you need to. Um, and so, yeah. There's my uh, my iPad and it's all charged up at 100% battery. Uh, so yeah, no worries about, you know, all that good jazz. And so that is how I travel with my, um, with my iPad Pro. And just, I'm gonna zip this up, the iPad's not in there, but you you guys know that everything's in there. So what I wanna do is show you how it can fit into tote bags and a book bag for the guys. Um, so it, it's super easy to travel with. So I have here my one of my tote bags. And so what I'm gonna do is just take this and stick it right inside. And boom, fits with no problems. You also can put it in a book bag. So this is my Tumi book bag, it's an alpha, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a review on this as well. Um, but just wanna show you how it can fit in here. It can fit in the front pocket, no problem. And you can zip it up. It could also fit back here. So back here in the back, this is actually where your laptop goes, this piece here, but there's a pocket and it could go there as well. So there are definitely many options that you could do with this if you are interested in 
kind of being mobile. I know we're all working remote for the most part, slowly transitioning back into the office. Um, but if you are one that even when you're in the office, you use your iPad like myself, um, because I take it to meetings, what have you, it's, it's, it's lightweight, it's super easy, and I can take notes, and I don't have to worry about paper and losing things, because that's a thing for me. <laughs> um, but this is a super affordable case. Um, most of the things that I've already shown you are on Amazon. So what I will do is make sure to link them down below. Um, and yeah, so that is how I travel with my iPad Pro. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If there's anything that you want to see specifically, please let me know in the comments and I will make it come to life. Until next time. Oh my God, I'm caught in the matrix. That was whack. No, seriously, this whole COVID-19 thing has us caught in the matrix.